Hello and welcome. Uh, this is some more Dollar Tree pickups. Uh, I picked up a couple on Monday. Not much because uh, the stores in my my main area still did not have anything. Uh, uh, today the recording is on a Tuesday and they got stuff in. So I'm going to start and show what I picked up on Monday and then move into Tuesday. Uh, so it would be the 14th and the 15th. Uh, movie related, I, I was sitting there waiting for the one store to uh, dig out the boxes out of the back for me. One of my uh, stores that uh, know me from picking stuff up. Uh, it was nice enough to go in the back and get them. Uh, didn't really get much from them. It pretty much the only stuff I did pick up. But I uh, grabbed this puzzle here <clears throat> and uh, kind of a wrap around. But uh, you can see there, it's like uh, Universal Monsters. It's the main reason I got this. Just kind of like the artwork. You got that one, yeah. That one kind of looks like the creature, Bride, Dracula. Frankenstein. I'm guessing this one's supposed to be like Nosferatu, maybe. I don't know. And then another creature there. Just a simple little puzzle. So the only DVD I picked up yesterday was a uh, one with Sam Rockwell. And that was my selling point when I saw this. Uh, called Laggies. Acting your age is so overrated. Uh, the best girl buddy rom-com since Bridesmaids. Not too... Not aware of this one, but... Uh, Keira Knightley, Chloe Grace Mortez. Right? Moretz. And then I picked up uh, one of the, uh, actually the two Blu-rays I did pick up yesterday were both used, um, which is uh, Lego Ninjago, the movie. And Wind River with Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen. This looks really good. Uh, I watched the trailer for this. Um, a little bit of Marvel going on there with them too. But, uh, I haven't removed the sticker yet off of that. And that was everything I picked up on Monday. So now, as of today, <clears throat> I'm going to start with, uh, the three that are used, um, wasn't too aware that these were used. These are they have DVDs that are used as well. Um, I would be very skeptical on it, unless it's something you really want. Um, so I'm going to show them and show the discs. Uh, the Blu-ray seemed <clears throat> are fine. The DVDs are, are another hand are not in great shape. Uh, Tom Cruise, American Made, based on a true lie uh the cover uh, uh this one i wasn't sure what was up with this because you look at the back i mean there's no barcode all this information seems kind of weird but i was kind of gambling on it but it's the the regular disc it's got their little sticker this one's not too bad. You can actually even see. The other one here I got was White Boy Rick. Uh, so there is no digital code in this since it ended up being used, which I did not know. I think they put the sticker down here at the bottom. But uh, this looks like a good movie. 
Hopefully the disc works. This one's a bit scratched up. Really kind of hard to really see scratches. And 20th century women. So I was really happy that my stores finally got stuff in. And you can see the little sticker again. This one, this one's in really bad looking shape, especially around the edges. Let me see. But all this whole outer ring is pretty bad looking. So hopefully it works. But uh, I went to the one right outside my work and uh, I was gonna grab two titles just to grab something because I hate going in and not picking anything up. But what had happened is I, when I was walking up to the door, I could still see the one row of the leftovers from the hall before uh up front and i wasn't gonna go in but i, I went in kind of found something then while i'm standing in line waiting it starts to rain so now i'm like uh i should have just put these down and run it out to the car then i noticed at the end of one of the registers the box was sitting there so i've moved over to the boxes and started um so I now found uh first couple are some blue and that is Automata and Antonio Banderas combo there. So basically three stores today had stuff. Actually the one closest to my house I only picked up three titles. The next closest one I got the biggest score and uh, the one closest to my work. Uh, I also got uh, Travolta is Gotti. And I know this has been uh, out there. But this is one nice thing about the <clears throat> my store is coming in late. One area seems to get everything that everybody else is getting and then there's another drop like th the week after almost and uh i get some new fresh stuff to go through so i kind of get like a two uh two week uh pick out and then also blu-ray version of protector 2 real nice slip on that well, that was all the blue now to the stack of dvds that i did find uh, Bakugan Battle Planet Origin of Species, the two disc set. Uh, grabbed one of their goofy uh, titles. It just kind of looked interesting, so I I went with it. it. Is Felix and the Hidden Treasure. Just sounded kind of good, but you know, this, this four little pattern here, I scan this into the app, it comes up as wolf. So that's the thing I hate about these. They don't go in properly. Then I also found the glow in the dark art series, Casper volume one. Let's see if you can all see what it actually looks like. there uh this one here i found exactly at the the one closest to my house i was real happy with this uh it's a six film called heat on the street uh you got ll cool j morgan freeman omar epps 
uh, Usher, Nick Cannon, and Mr. T. Each film you got Into Deep, Attica, Halloween H2O, The Faculty, American Son, and The Toughest Man in the World. So you get a picture of three of the movies here. The other three over here. It's a two disc set. The uh, Echo Bridge. The way they like to do stuff. I figure it wouldn't be too bad because I don't. I don't really think I have any of these. That was a nice little one. Uh, Jason London. That's the reason I grabbed this called Full Count. Have Courage in Your Faith. A little baseball uh, movie. I usually enjoy these. Then got another uh, doll movie. Dolls Can Be Deadly. This is Annie. This one was actually kind of floating around. The center hub had been broke, but uh, since it's the only copy I saw, I was willing to take a shot, and it was in good shape. This is the other title I picked up at the one closest to work um, that I was going to buy just because I wanted to get something. But this actually looks pretty interesting. It's a docudrama film. The kids grow up. Letting go is so hard. This might be actually pretty interesting. It's all about uh, highly praised personal documentaries of recent years. About his daughter uh, growing up and then uh, leaving home. So I found it interesting. Uh, this one here, Aaron Paul was the uh, draw for this. American Woman. All she wants is an answer. The greatest role of Sienna Miller's career. Yeah, high praise. It's certified fresh, too. Rotten Tomatoes, so. Should be a winner. Another horror title, The Curse of Buckout Road. Uh, Danny Glover delivers a phenomenal performance. We'll see how well this is. Like Danny Glover. Another uh, zombie movie, The Beginning of the End. Inmate Zero. I thought I had this, but uh, I've got a different. Yeah, I think the other one's patient zero. So this looked pretty interesting. I like the artwork on it. Got me another olive title film. Him Ease You, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Japanese film. Spine number eight thirty three. It's 130 minutes. So that's a, a lengthy subtitle film to be watching. But it says it's uh, inspired by the popular manga. Supposedly he goes out and starts uh, killing his, his abuse. Uh, devoid of hope for the future. Becomes a vigilante and commits a string of violent acts upon the world's endeavors. But, uh, it says, while some critics were alarmed by the film's brutal violence. So I'm really looking forward to watching this. I'm really enjoying how many olive films I'm building. I'm I'm building a huge olive film collection now. And uh 
keep getting people to find some for me so that's that's great i love that uh this here is i'm assuming a sequel to iron sky this is the coming race i found this with a slip In fact, there's a dinosaur in there. Dude's riding that. So now I can watch the first one. And then follow it up with this. It was a nice uh, find. And I have uh, Frontiers. Drug Wars Have No Borders. That one looks pretty interesting. Uh... Quite a few of these from Vertical. Uh, I have seen this in a couple videos. Not too many. As a remake for Jacob's Ladder. Also the slip. Another Shutter uh, release, and that's Don't Grow Up. Another one I'm grabbing, as long as they say uh, Shutter on them, I'll give a shot for that. Now I just need to find a slip for this one, because all my other, the other three shutters I have, uh, I'll have slips. Now I did find this that uh, I've seen in some uh, videos is uh, found footage 3D. Might be interesting. Then I got the uh, Doctor Who. I, I already have the Blu-ray on this, but I like getting the DVDs too, especially if I'm only paying a buck. And that is Return of Doctor Mysterio. And then the last one I got was the six movie set Horror Unleashed. I was real happy to find this. Uh, Train to Busan, which is a fantastic film. Gun Jim Haunted Asylum, which I have, I haven't seen. Dead Snow 2, The Wailing, House That Never Dies, and Afraid. And it is nice that they are all on their own discs, even though they're uh, stacked. It's a real nice, uh, it's a great pickup for a buck. Six, six discs. Um, so that's all I've picked up now. Uh, I've got a little stack over here. That I'll do another video for, which is Thrift Store and what I got from the Disney Movie Club. So, that I'll do and post that uh, Wednesday, I guess. So, uh, thanks for watching, subscribing. Hopefully, you guys start finding stuff. So, it seems to be, if the stores didn't have anything now, uh, when you went in... They should have something at this point. I'm, I, I would I would assume that they they, they do. Uh, happy hunting.